I'm sure that you can tell from the accent that I'm not from around these parts. My name's Lily Brown. I'm 14 and I was evacuated to Kobe Lonsdale in 1939, along with 140 other lassies from the South Shields High School for Girls. We only got told the day before we was coming, and we had to march to the station, shouldering heavy rucksacks on a really hot day. We was expecting to stay in Kendall, but from there we were sent on a bus to Terrybank in Mansur, where we was billeted for the first week. I'd never been so far away from home, and I really miss me family. Me first glimpse of Kobe Lonsdale was a great disappointment. It was so small compared to what I was used to. At first I missed our busy King Street with the clanging tram cars and rattling buses. But when I came to live here, it wasn't quite as dull as I'd imagined. The River Loon is canny and much quieter and cleaner than the Tyne. I must say, I struggled to understand the locals at first, as the lazy drawl of the Westmoreland dialect is very different to the rough clip tones of us Tynesiders. But what impressed me most was the kindness of the inhabitants of Kobe Lonsdale and the trouble they took to make me feel at home. I first stayed with a lovely family who had a jeweler shop in the Toon, and then later on I went to Mrs Hadwin's on Main Street. At our very first tea, we sampled her homemade raspberry jam and oat flapjacks. They were delicious. I remember the sweet ration being so small that we supplemented by buying raw carrots. And in the summer, there was a shop that sold so-called ice cream, but it was very yellow and it tasted of custard. Although I did see me parents for some of the holidays, I like nothing more than walking down to Devil's Bridge and climbing the huge chestnut tree with me friends. In winter, if it snowed, we would go tobogganing down Hollow Basin, where the rugby club is now. During the first few months we were here, the loon froze over. Little by little, the number of us evacuees dwindled, as many went back to South Shields when the bombing stopped. I stayed on until 1942, and I'll always have a soft spot for Kirby Lonsdale.